Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Super 2. I'll get back on the part 2 view. That you know I'm going to do for the Saturday month, y'all. Okay, I'm going to do a type of um, the best story behind the um the uh, New Orleans rapper called Pim Daddy. I do, uh, you know, what sign will catch money. Uh, I sit back around the uh, 90s to where his rapper coming up and how how do we shine killed, man, and then the force. So he's killed, you know, and, uh, Cause if y'all talk about, you know, I say, you know, why to do Pimp Daddy, so, you know, why we, uh, you know, I said why he was killed, so I do, in New Orleans, so. Okay, Pimp Daddy was a, um, okay, Pimp Daddy is known by, I say, uh, called Egner Gibbons, so, so, you got signed with Catch Money at the time, uh, to a Birdman had signed to Lab at the time, um, around, um, I started in the early 90s, to where he was known by, you know, by song, you know, to where he got signed, I still catch my records at the time. But the Pimp Daddy, uh, I think he was a, uh, in a rapper at the time to where he, you know, on how, you know, he put out his first album called Still Pimping and um, Pimping I Is, you know, you know, which is second uh, album he made off the label. And, but I think Pimp Daddy, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I think Pimp Daddy, you know, I think it's a dude they know about bounce music, you know, about music is very, well known in the city of um I say of New Orleans, it's, it's where bad music became more popular in the city, man. But and but I feel like he's a bounce legend, I do, and uh, how he made like a couple a couple songs, I do, man. To where do you know you know um, but I feel like the dude, the uh, Pin was a rapper that was known you know by him making bounce music, man. But I feel like his um his fortune demise became around uh. I said around 94 to where they, you know, they were trying to kill man. And, um, yeah, I read somewhere that, you know, I think he was killed by his, um, girlfriend's brother, man. I guess the brother, had came to the house and, hey, you know, um, until they got to a little argument and how dude shot and killed him dead, man. You know, in the projects of, um, you know, somewhere in the Caddy Oak, somewhere in, um, and, but I feel like he's, um, dude, you know, they got killed by some argument went on. But I feel like Pim Daddy, you know, uh, I guess the dude that is kind of well known throughout, I say, you know, throughout New Orleans, I do how, how, do, um, but, so I do feel like New Orleans got a lot of rappers, you know, um, that very well known, like, um, UNNV, the Hot Boys, um, Pim Daddy, um, you know, other, uh, you know, um, it, and I think other rappers that came out back then, so I feel like New Orleans got a lot of rappers. They either they did or they in jail, you know, or they all still rapping. But like, you know, Pim Dad was a dude that is known by the bounce music era, man. I do how about music became popular back around the uh, 90s and the, I said around the uh, 2000s era too, when the bounce music became more popular back then. But I thought Pim Dad had lost his life, man, to where, you know, you know, the dude got killed, man. You know, the dude, I said, dude, it's only, only, I think, that's his old, you know, he got killed. So I believe, so I feel like dude probably was probably 19, 20 years old, you know, he died, you know, I think, is I think I was about three years old, you know, he died in that folks, so I was three years old at the time, but, and so I feel like, you know, Pim Daddy was a rapper, they got signed with Catching Money, you know, I saw Birdman, how Birdman had knew him and how the whole thing went, you know, kind of went, you know, bad to where dude got killed, man, so, so I passed out to the, um, the rapper legend, the bounce all this man, Pimp Daddy. So, so make sure I like, comment, and start, and um, I said, show out some peace. I'm out here. Take care and peace.